Now all the necessary certificates installed and we verified that certificate is appear under the personal certificate. So let's open the internet information services over here and uh, we need to add HTTPS services over here. But before this, uh, let me verify the certificate which we just installed. Uh, so this certificate must be appear in uh, our internet information services. So when we click on the machine name, so under the server certificates, it must be appear over here. So here you can see. So the certificate is appeared over here. If you want to view the certificate, so again, the same certificate will be appeared over here. So it means that certificate is installed properly. Now we need to integrate the certificate. So again, we open the binding option over here and we need to add the HTTPS protocol over here. So we click on the HTTPS, we put the same name and uh, uh, let me copy that name from here. So I just click on the copy button and click and then add over here. So I just click over here and enable HTTPS. So the default port will be automatically appeared. It's 443. You can also assign the same IP, but if you want to uh, utilize the same uh, default options, so it's okay with the IS deployment. So now here, SSL certificate. So click on the drop down menu and here the Soteria ePayment Connector.com certificate available over here. So I just select the certificate. I view the certificates is all parameters over here and uh, what we provide the information during the CSR. So here you can uh, verify the information from the subject as well. Okay, so I click on the OK button and click OK. So the HTTPS traffic is available over here. So uh, we make the changes. So we need to restart the service. And after the service restart, we will verify the HTTPS traffic for this default website. So uh, let's check and see that HTTPS is enabled or not. So I just click on the button. And here you can see the HTTPS is appeared automatically over here and the, the lock option or the security lock option is available over here as well. So I click on it and here the connection is secure. So if you want to see further detailed information about it, so you can also verify the certificate as well. So these are the simple steps on behalf of which you can verify the uh, you can implement the certificate and you can secure your uh, website traffic for all kinds of web servers. So